that's the sign of the ultimate passer. Look at the way he drills this football. Look at the way that ball travels through the air. As John moves up in the, in the level of football, the ability to drill the football or throw it fast like that on the line becomes probably the single most important thing. It's proof that he can do that. No way. He has completed 22 out of 37 for 371 yards and four touchdown passes. We've seen some of the greatest players in the history of college and high school sports. And I, see, I think we're going to see one of the future greats of John Elwood. What's it going to be, football? Or? It's going to be both. I'm not sure in what, though. But you're going to college? Yeah. Whereabouts? Stanford. It came down between USC and Stanford, and, and there again, I think it came back into as a quarterback, where is the most exciting place to play, where you turn around and pitch it backwards, or you get to throw it forward at Stanford. I think that, yeah, I would love to go to SC, because being down there, I love the area. But if they were a tailback school, on Stanford was a quarterback school. <laughs> I mean, I was 40 yards from lunch cameras, and I'm going, oh, my God, I am in deep, deep, deep trouble. You know, Marcher just kept running. Kenny Marcher, thank God, kept running. We got behind Ronnie Lyon. We went over the top of Ronnie's head. Because it's funny, because every time I talk to Ronnie, I say, hey, make sure you stay back. So that was kind of fun. Other than the fact that maybe I'd like to go play for my dad at San Jose State, I think that would be something that would have been a, you know, a lot of fun. And, uh, he threw the ball every down, too, so I mean, as a quarterback, it's a pretty good situation. But I did miss playing for him, so I'd probably regret not going to San Jose, but he understood why I was going to San Baltimore selects as the first choice in the draft. Quarterback John Elway of Stanford. We had been a discussion with him two or three months before the draft that I was not going to play in Baltimore. And if that came to it, I was going to play baseball for the Yankees. I was fortunate to have an option. I want to give myself the best chance to be the best quarterback that I could. And I looked at that organization and what they were doing, and I didn't think that that was going to give me the best chance to, to show off my talent. Not show off my talents, but to win a Super Bowl and to win as a football team. I was looked at as bucking the system, but I was actually the first guy to have a choice, to do something else. So uh, I guess that's why I became notorious in that way, but uh, you know, it's, it's turned out to be the right one. It happened so fast, and all of a sudden you, you had to grow up like that. And uh, here, I'm a 23-year-old kid coming out of college where you know, I was still, you know, I was a football player, but I was still a student there and had a bunch of buddies. And all of a sudden you step out, they pay you good money to play football, and all of a sudden the expectations level of you raise tenfold. And the world became a lot smaller for me because I couldn't go out and be the, the kid that I had been. That all changed in one week when we went to camp. You go to training camp the next day, every every move, what you eat, getting a haircut is a big deal. And as a test, little things like that, a lot of times get blown out of proportion and turn into a lot bigger deals than they really are. You know, I knew it was a lot there, but you, I think the thing that made it easy for me to, to deal with was the fact that my expectations were higher than the expectations that people were putting on me. Therefore, I had to live up to my own expectations and end up there. It's interesting, on a young man with the publicity that an L.A. has had, even the football teams, you can tell that it's got their attention. Everybody's craning their neck to see what it's doing. I wanted to be the greatest quarterback to ever play. And that was my expectations of myself. And so what other people thought I could do was secondary to what, what I wanted to do. So therefore, I think that when you look at it that way, it wasn't a whole heck of a lot of pressure because it was so much pressure. There's no question it was tougher. It was a tougher jump than I thought it was going to be. First snap I ever took. I mean, Jack Lambert staring across me in Pittsburgh on the first regular season. Jack Lambert's across me playing middle linebacker. No teeth, snarling, spitting, yelling at me. And I'm going, God, you can have all the money back. You can just, just blink me out of here right now. I'll go for the count. But uh, that was pretty intimidating, seeing him and, and realizing what the NFL was all about. But there's no question that first year was frustrating. You know, whether you think it's uh, worth it or 